Vigyan Prasar is an autonomous body that was established in 1989 under the aegis of Department of Science and Technology of the Government of India. It has the prime mandate to popularize science in India, bringing science as an enterprise to the common people, developing capacity for informed decision making in the country, women empowerment through science and technology and infusing excitement among young people towards a scientific career are some of the key approaches adopted by Vigyan Prasad to fulfill its mission. In continuation to its work among children, Vigyan Prasad has organized a quiz show titled Sci Connect that aims at nurturing young talents of Northeast on science and has the goal of reaching so far uncharted territories in the Northeast. In the format of operation, the level 1 involves the selection of students through a written test. The level 2 comprises of workshops and a recorded quiz show in each state capital of the Northeast where five teams compete with each other. The winning team gets invited over for another pre-final round. This is undertaken in two stages between four teams each, out of which four teams are selected for the final round. The teams that come third in both stages compete against each other once again for selection as the fifth team for the final round. This year, the pre-final round and the final round both take place in Guwahati. So viewers, presented here is the SciConnect Quiz Show. Happy viewing! Welcome you all. We all gathered here for Sci Connect Level 2 Quiz Competition. And I'm Jasmine Anchor Come Quiz Master for today's program. From Vigyan Prasa, we are honored to have with us Sri Sachin Narwadia, scientist and coordinator of program of Sci Connect. Well, Sci Connect is a program specially designed for the students of Northeast region and initiated by Vigyan Prasar, an autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, in collaboration with all state councils of science and technology situated at different state capital of Northeast region. Well, the SciConnect program has three levels. Level 1 was a district competition, district level competition. At this level, all registered schools of Manipur were given 21 science films produced by Vigyan Prasa for the screening at schools. After screening of films, an objective type written examination was conducted jointly with Manipur Science and Technology Council that is MESTEC. Total 215 students participated in the written examination and top 15 selected students are now facing the SciConnect Level 2 quiz competition right here. The first winning team of Level 2 from all 8 Northeastern states including Manipur will go to the Level 3. Well, level 3 will be a regional level final quiz competition which will be held in Guwahati, Assam. This quiz show is based on the content of the films produced by Vigyan Prasar and syllabus of class 9 and 8. Today, we are here in Imphal and the children have come from schools of different districts across the state Manipur. So, welcome again. I would like to welcome all of you here again. We are starting the SciConnect Level 2. But before starting a new quiz show, let's have a quick introduction of the participants to start the competition. Please introduce yourself. We will start with Team A. Jum Jumbo Kwantok Jam, Pre Progress Academy. Kwantok Jam. Ronaldo, Jenvi Kumbong. Nasham Yasmin, Jenvi Kumbong. 
Team B. Mungzum Pai Khomba, JNB Bishnupur. Suchitra Soivam, JNB Bishnupur. Marsali Kiam, JNB Bishnupur. Now viewers, it's time for Team C. Motilal, JNB Kumbong. Nananjo Laishram, JNB Kumbong. Minakshi Ning Thausam, Kendra Vidyale Lamphil. Now it's time for Team D. Komand Morgmand, Central High School, Wang Khai. Hani Ning Khong Sai, Kampopi. Amar Jilai Shram, JNB Thoban. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for Team E. Marshida, JNB Kumbong. Babina Lai Shram, JNB Kumbong. Joarni, JNB Kumbong. Thank you so much. That is the end of introduction round. So let's move on to our quiz competition and here is our first round. Before we proceed to our first round, let's have a quick look on its terms and condition. Number one, each team will get two questions with multiple choice. Number two, if an answered question will not pass on to next team. Number three, each question will have 10 points and answer time is only 10 seconds. So, are you ready team A? Now team A, hold your breath for your first question and here is your first question. Light waves when pass through smaller gaps, they spread. What is the name of this phenomenon? And your options are option A, reflection, option B, interference, option C, diffraction and option D, none of the above. C. Option number C. Option number C. I'm so sorry, Team A. This is a wrong answer. And the right answer is B. Interference. <laughs> now it's time for Team B. Are you ready? And here is your question, Team B. Have a look. What is a total numbers of chromosomes in human body cell? And your options are option A, 23, option B, 46, option C, 22, and option D, 48. Option B. Option B, 46, an absolutely right answer. Congratulations, Team B. Now it's time for Team C. Are you ready Team C? And your question is the equation y equal to 2x plus 3 used to define sets of points in a line. What it describes? Your options are A. Straight lines B. Parallel lines C. Circle and option D. Triangle Option A Option A, and I think this is the right answer. Congratulations, Team C. <laughs> now it's time for Team D. Are you ready, students? Let's have a look on your question. And your question is, which main nutrients is provided to us by pulses like gram, chana, pea, matter, black gram, urat? And your options are, a. Carbohydrates Option B. Proteins Option C. Iron and Option D. Calcium Calcium B. So, option B. B. And B is the right answer. Congratulations, Team D. <laughs> now it's time for the last but not the least, Team E. And Team E, your question is on the screen. The presence of air bubbles in glass makes it. And here are your options. Option A, 
more transparent option b more hard option c non transparent and last option option d less hard what is the right answer team e option a option a <laughs> and uh, i'm so sorry team e option a is wrong answer and uh, right answer is option c non transparent <laughs> Now it's time for team A and here is your question on the screen. What is the force with which an object is attracted towards the earth? Your options are A mass, B weight, C acceleration and option D velocity. What is the right answer team A? Option number B. Option number B and B is right answer. Congratulations team A. Now it's time for team B and here is your question. Credit cards use which of the following properties of numbers to keep information confidential? And your options are A composite numbers, option B prime numbers, option C square numbers and last option option D triangles numbers. What is the right answer? Option B option B and congratulations team B right answer and now it's time for team C are you ready for the question team C so here is your question and your question is when a copper vessel is exposed to moist air for long it acquires a dull green coating which of these mixtures constitute this green material and your options are option a copper oxide and copper nitrate option b copper hydroxide and copper carbonate option c copper carbonate and copper sulfate and option d copper hydroxide and copper nitrate what is your answer team c you have only 10 seconds Option number B. Option number B and B is the right answer. Congratulations, Team C. <laughs> and Team D, your questions are on the screen. Which of the following method is a way to find primes? And your options are Option A, Ptolemy's filter. Option B, Alchemides Eureka. Option C, Eratosthenes sieve and option D, Plato's rule. What is your answer? C. It's C and C is right answer. Congratulations team D. <laughs> now it's time for team E. Are you ready team E? Then let's make some noise. Yes. <laughs> and here is your question and your question is which nutrients or nutrient is or are provided by the fertilizer to plants and your options are a nitrogen b phosphorus c potassium and option d all the above d d and d is right answer congratulations team e After this fabulous round one, let's have a quick look on the scores. And the scores are Team A 20, Team B 20, Team C 20, Team D 20 and Team E with 10 points only. It's okay, no problem. There are more rounds yet to come. Now let's move on to our round two. 
Before we proceed to our round 2, let's have a look on its terms and condition. Each team will get two questions with 10 points to each question. The question will be one word answer type. If unanswered, question will pass on to next team carrying five bonus points and answer time is 20 seconds. So team A, are you ready for this second round? And don't forget that this round is a pass on round. So just try to answer the question and your question is? What is term coined for growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same field in a definite pattern? Multiple cropping. Wrong answer, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Team B. Crop rotation. I'm so sorry, Team B. Team C. Mix farming. I'm so sorry. What about Team D? Intercropping. Intercropping. And congratulations, Team B. Intercropping is the right answer. And I'm glad to tell you that uh, this is a pass on question, so you earned five points. Congratulations. So, Team B, are you ready for the question? And here is your question on the screen A falling coconut, a speeding car, a rolling stone, a flying aircraft, flowing water pauses, which type of energy? Kinetic energy. And that is right answer, Team B. Congratulations. Yay! Now it's time for Team C. Team C, are you ready for the question? And your question is on the screen. What is the maximum number of electrons in ant shell of an atom? Thirty-two. 32. Congratulations, Team C. 32 is the right answer. <laughs> Team D, are you ready for the question? And here is your question. What is the shape of all faces of icosahedrons? Twenty-sided polygon. Sorry. Wrong answer. This question passed to team E. Hexagon. Sorry, that is also a wrong answer. Team A. Any idea? Pentagon. Pentagon. No, I'm so sorry. I can't give you five marks for this answer. Team B, any idea about the question? Triangular. And triangular is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B, and you scored five bonus points. <laughs> and now it's time for Team E, and your question is on the screen. What is the other name of the heart muscles? Cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscle is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. Yay! And now it's again it's time for Team A. And your question is on the screen. In 1920, Indian scientist S. N. Bose laid down the foundation of which new stat of matter? Bose Einstein condensate. Absolutely right, Team A. Congratulations. And the right answer is condensed. <laughs> now it's time for Team B. Are you ready? And here is your question. Your question is what is the number of dimensions a solid has? Three. Three and three is the right answer. Congratulations, Team B. 
टाइम फॉर टीम सी द ग्रोथ ऑफ प्लांट्स ऑकर ओनली इन सर्टिन स्पेसिफिक रीजन दिस इज बिकॉज द डिवाइडिंग टिश्यूज वट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस टिश्यू मेस्टिमेटिक टिश्यू एब्सोलूटली राइट कंग्रेचुलेशन टीम सी it's time for team d and your question is on the screen whenever energy gets transformed the total energy remains unchanged what is the name of this law law of conservation of energy absolutely right team d congratulation <laughs> now it's time for team e and your question is on the screen what is the number of vertices in a polyhedron having 30 edges and 12 faces are you have only 20 seconds you have to think in this 20 seconds and if you are unable to answer this question this question will pass on to team a and your time up here times up here and now this question goes to team a 24 20. sorry i'm so sorry 24 is not the right answer Team B Team C Team D Thirty. I'm so sorry. Thirty is not the right answer. <laughs> Then I have to tell the right answer of this question, and the right answer is twenty. This is the end of second round now it's time to have a look on its score and the scores are team A 10 team B 25 team C 20 team D 15 team E 10 and the total score of first and the second round is team A 30 team B 45 team C 40 team D 35 and team E 20 Now it's time to move on to our next round that is round 3 photo identification round So let's have a quick look on its terms and condition Each team will get one question a picture will be shown on the screen if identified without any clue then 10 points will be awarded Two points for each clue will be deducted for next four clues. If unanswered, question will not pass on to next team. Total time for answer is two minutes. So, Team A, are you ready for this photo identification round? And here is your image on the screen. Give name of this instrument. First clue. 
it is used in mechanical engineering second clue it used in telescope or microscope to measure the apparent diameter of celestial bodies or microscopic objects third clue it is a device incorporating a calibrated screw widely used for precise measurement of components and your last clue is it was invented by william gascoigne in the 17th century your times up here i'm so sorry team a and the right answer is micrometer screw gauge <laughs> That's time for Team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes. And here is your image on the screen. Give name of this instrument. First clue. It is based on the principle of measurement of atmospheric pressure. Barometer. And barometer is the right answer. Congratulations, team B. And the right answer is barometer or pressure altimeter. And team B, you used one clue, so you will get only eight points. Now it's time for team C. Are you ready, team C? Yes. And here is your image on the screen. Give name of this instrument. Compass. Sorry, your first cue. It is an instrument for measuring angles of slope or tilt, elevation or depression of an object with respect to gravity. Clinometer. Congratulations, Trino uh, clinometer is a right answer. And you will get only eight points because you used one clue. Is it right? Now it's time for Team D. Team D, are you ready for this question? And your image is on the screen. Give name of this instrument. Potentiometer. Louder. Potentiometer. Sorry. Your first clue. The main use of this instrument is to measure the internal and external diameter of an object. Mm -hmm. 
Second clue. Its use was described in detail in English in Navigatio Britannica, 1750. Third clue. In some languages, it is also called a non-use. Your last clue. It is a scale that indicates where the measurement lies in between two of the graduations on the main scale. The time's up here. I'm so sorry, team D. And the right answer is vernier caliper or vernier scale. <coughs> now it's time for team E. Are you ready, team E? And here is your image on the screen. Give name of this instrument. Seismograph. Louder. Seismograph. Congratulations, Team E. Seismogram is the right answer. Scores after round 3 is Team A 0, Team B 8, Team C 8, Team D 0 and Team E 10 and the total score is Team A 30, Team B 53, Team C 48, Team D 35 and Team E 30. Now let's move on to our last round and that is rapid fire round. So before we start and before we proceed to this round fourth, let's have a quick look on its terms and condition. Each team will be asked continuous question for one and a half minutes or maximum eight questions. Answer should be given in true or false. Each question will carry five points. The representative from team will only answer the question. So let's start. From team A, who will be the representative from your team? Name please. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Shall we start? Yes. And don't forget that uh, you have got only one and a half minutes. So we have to answer all those questions in that bound time. And your friends can help you in that bound times. Your first question is, Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. You have to answer in true or false. True. Right answer. Your second question is the states of matter are interconvertible. True. Right answer. Your third question is the mass number of an atom is equal to the number of nucleons in its nucleus. True. Right answer. Your fourth question is, in an isolated system where there is no external force, the total momentum remains conserved. True. Right answer. Your fifth question is, the rational number zero is the addi additive identity for rational numbers. True. Right answer. And your sixth question is, rational numbers cannot be represented on a number line. False. 
Right answer. And your seventh question is dog belongs to Aves. False. Right answer. And your last question is thunder fixes the atmospheric nitrogen. True. Right answer. And you answered eight out of eight. Congratulations, team A. Now it's time for team B and who will be the representative from your team? I am Suchitra. Okay, Suchitra, are you ready for these questions? Yes. And here is your question. Your first question is, matter is made up of small particles. True. Right answer. Latent heat of fusion is the amount of heat energy required to change 1 kg of solid into liquid at its melting point. True. Right answer. Discount is an additional taken on market price. False. Right answer. And your fourth question is oxygen is a plant hormone. True. Right answer. And your next question is life on earth within a complex bubble called biosphere. True. Right answer. Your next question is a drop in body temperature termed as hyperthermia. False. Right answer. Your next question is the earth does not rotate at a uniform speed. False. Wrong answer. And your last question is a greenhouse gases associated with lowering of temperature on earth. False. Right answer. And you answered out of eight, only seven. <laughs> Congratulations, Team B. Now it's time for Team C. And who will be the representative from your team, Team C? Dhananjoy Lashram. Team C, are you ready for this rapid fire round? Yes. Your questions are on the screen. And your first question is, a mixture contains only one substance. False. Right answer. Your second question is, a molecule is the smallest particle of an element or a compound capable of independent existence under ordinary condition. True. Right answer. Your next question is, the atomic number of an element is the same as the number of protons in the nucleus of its atom. True. Number three, true right answer. Next is, Isobars are atoms having the same mass number but different atomic numbers. True. Right answer. Your next question is platelets engaged in clotting of blood on injury to skin. True. Right answer. Your next question is sales tax is charged on the scale of an item by the government and is added to the bill amount. Don't waste your time, you got only one and a half minutes. True. And this is right answer. And your next question is, and HD pictures mean high dimensions. True. Wrong answer. And your last question is, the first IIT of India established in Karakpur. True. That is right answer. And congratulations team C, out of 8, you answered a 7. Now it's time for Team D. And who will be the representative from your team? Amarjit Lystrom. Louder. Amarjit Lystrom. Okay, are you ready for this rapid fire round? Yes, miss. And here is your question. And your first question is, clusters of atoms that act as an ion are called polyatomic ions. True. Right answer. Your second question is a chemical formula of a compound shows its constituent elements and the number of atoms of each combining elements. True. Right answer. Next question is arteries always contains oxygenated blood. Expect pulmonary artery. True. Right answer. And your fourth question is vitamin D is essential for strong bones and teeth. True. 
right answer your fifth equation is an identity is equality which is true for all values of the variables in the equality true right answer your next question is acetic acid is a strong acid response right answer your next question is a tsunami are the earthquake in c true true right answer your last equation is photosynthesis occurs in some mammals too Pons. right answer an hour and out of eight you answered eight congratulations team d now it's time for team e and who will be the representative from your team babina huh babina babina are you ready for this rapid fire round yes and here is your question and your first question is pure substances can be elements or compounds false wrong answer your second question is valency is the combining capacity of an atom true right answer your third question is elements are defined by the number of protons they possess true right answer your fourth question is isotopes are atoms of the same element which have different mass numbers true right answer your fifth question is at ground level troposphere is there on the earth true right answer your next question is cutting burning and leveling operations reduce forest true right answer your next question is the electrical potential is measured in ampere false right answer your last question is many hormones are made up of lipids also true right answer and congratulations team e out of 8 you answered a 7 after All rounds are over. Now I invite Sachin Narwadia, quiz master from Vigyan Prasar, for announcement of final scores. Thank you, madam. By the end of first round, there was a keen competition between teams A, B, C, and D, all being at 20 points each, and only team E lagging behind with a score of 10 points. The combined score of the first two rounds brought team B to a total score of 45 points while its nearest competitor that is team C stood at 40 points. It is evident that there was a keen competition between team B and team C. After the round 3, team B's score went up to 53 while team C's score stood at 48 points. which clearly indicate that team b was still leading after the last round team b continued to take a lead over team c and emerged as a clear winner the final score for all the teams stand at team a 70 points team b 88 points team c 83 points team d 75 points team e 65 points the team b is now nominated for the next level of psychonet quiz competition to be held at guwahati thank you madam thank you very much thank you sachin narwadia i congratulate the team b for being on first position team c for second position and team d for third position I offer my best wishes to all the participants and a bright future ahead. Now this is the end of this quiz show. Thank you all.
Sai Connect program level 2 where uh, we are doing the workshops uh, related to activity based science and learning for this uh, 15 students and idea is to inculcate scientific temperament in the association with this activity based science learning. So students will nurture and they will get exposure to the various aspects of science and technology and uh, very important thing is that we are promoting innovations also with this program. So will they, they will get a good opportunity to interact with source persons who came from Delhi and other organizations and simultaneously we are also giving a activity kit so that they can do the activity with their own selves by going to school back and uh, in future also we will also give a, a numbers of movies so that they, these students can display the screen in their schools also. The motto of uh, quiz competition is that uh, the students should learn as well as they excited, they get entertained also through the quiz. And this uh, quiz competition is a new type of approach in India. Uh, we have 15 students qualified from say five districts. One hill district and other four valley districts. Our students very are very smart and uh, they will get some prizes in the final round in stage three. This stage two program today, this is very successful program. And uh, this type of joint venture project with Began Prashar and Mastek, Manpu Science and Technology Council, uh, we have been in touch for the last more than 10 years. I'm so inspired uh, the program which is uh, organized and catalyzed by Vigyan Prasa. And I, I observed that all my students are enjoying the program which you organize and then I do hope that this program will give awareness to all our youngsters and then the generations who are creating in science and technology of our people. This type of uh, say quiz program at Jawahar Navadhyavidyala Khumbang is one of the very, very uh, remarkable for the students because quiz is these days uh, very, very uh, popular. And so in order to popular, popularize this such type of quiz program, we need to organize such type of say, quiz in other states as a whole and so that the student can be motivated put, 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 to participate in quiz program. The hands-on training program and workshop which is being conducted by the Manipur Science and Technology Council and the Brigand Pasar has been a very good program and I believe the student must have benefited a lot out of this program. The quiz competition that was held uh, was also very innovative and I believe the student must be quite motivated after participating this program and these such kinds of exposures are needed uh, uh, for the students so that they have a better view of what is happening in the actual field. Uh, the competition it's quite nice according to the level of the students and it has brought a lot of improvement to our students. The students that have developed a curiosity to learn science uh, after going through the CDs provided by the Prashan BR to take part in this competition. Uh, being exposed to different uh, uh, themes ranging from uh, uh, hands-on activity the film shows related to environment and the different classes taken by the eminent scientists. And as a teacher, I have learned a lot many things from this program. Definitely, uh, this uh, program has enriched and uh, increased inquisitiveness in the learning science. Uh, on this workshop and com quiz competition, I have, I have earned a lot of information and experience. And I, uh, the quiz was also interesting and very. Uh, informative and uh, questions were uh, uh, some 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 are easy but and some are uh, mind storming and uh, very tricky questions are there. Questions are uh, are from easy to difficult and it contains a lot of uh, uh, interesting questions. Even though I have been not selected to represent our state, but then also our team has been in the third position and I'm very grateful and I'm very happy. I overall enjoyed this program a lot and I think that this will lead to all-round development of students and moreover the, uh, I hope that 
There are many young talents in the whole northeastern states and such type of program will give opportunity to those students to foster up their talents. Vigyan Prasar hopes you liked the format of this quiz show. Do get back to us for any feedback on the following address or email.